I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I teach five-year-olds ballet, five-year-old girls ballet. I have a class of 10 students. They don't respect any authority. They don't respect any authority. They don't respect any authority. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different because I do have a clip that I am going to give commentary on and let me preface parents you need to do better. And in this video I am going to call out parents in support of this black woman because in this generation i don't know what is going on these kids are different they aren't the kids from my generation or the generation after mine these kids are bad these kids don't respect authority these kids would rather sit in front of a tablet than go outside and play. Let's roll the clip. I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I teach five-year-olds ballet, five-year-old girls ballet. I have a class of 10 students. They don't respect any authority. And see, this is the issue. A lot of these children do not respect authority. And I find issue with that. If you are a child, you respect your adults. There's a few people that you respect as a child. You respect your parents, your mother and father. You respect your teacher. You respect adults. You don't say no to an adult in a school setting. Now, if the adult is doing something they shouldn't do, then by all means, yes, you should say no. But we're not talking about that here. We're talking about children with lack of respect. And it needs to stop. Parents, I blame you. Single parents, do better. Parents, do better. Let's continue. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom. You don't tell me what to do. Okay. When her mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions. And seven times today, I've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot. Well, clearly she didn't want to sit. And mind you, this is a mom. Clearly she didn't want to fucking sit right there. So, I mean, if she's telling you she don't want to do something, why well, keep asking her to do it? You know she's not going to do it. This is the issue. Children and parents alike. The child is only going to do what the parent allows them to do. I'm going to say that again for the parents. A child will only do 
what that parent allows them to do. So if your child is just running around, doing whatever, not taking, not doing anything, not taking instructions, the parent allows that. And number two, the parent teaches it. That is the problem we have in parenting today is that parents do not want to parent anymore. They would rather sit their child in front of an iPad or a television set or a phone and then they drop their children off at the school and then they expect the school to raise their children. No, the school is to educate your child, not raise the child. Black people, I'm talking to you. And this is notorious in the black community. Black parents are notorious for sending their children to school and then expecting the school to raise their children. Their child comes back home. What do they do? Sit them in front of the TV, turn the TV on, get out of my face. And then... When it's time to go to bed, they go to bed or they let them stay up till 10, 11 o'clock at night. We have to do better as parents. We have to do better as a community. It is time. If you don't want to be a parent, then give your child to somebody else who does. And this is why I believe that not everybody should have children. Not everybody should have a child. We need to have a standardized test before you are allowed to have a child. Some people may say it's bad, but look at the state. Look at this video and tell me any different. What world do we live in? Like what in you guys' brain as a parent says, hmm, my kid not following any directions is is a great thing. It's not that serious, and y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do. It's sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town. Huh? And Ski Yee. Your daughters, your five-year-old daughters are asking, can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them. Princess Tiana ballet music. And they are asking me, can we hear about? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane insane agenda push I have ever seen. This is the reason why single mothers, I'm talking to you. This is the reason why fathers are needed in the home. No man in his right mind would allow his daughter or any daughter of his to listen to that ratchet mess. And if you are a parent that allows your child to listen to Pound Town or anything ghetto and ratchet, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because when you're listening to that music, that child is internalizing those lyrics. Those children don't understand that what they're talking about. Those children do not understand. And you can say, oh, well, children are smart and they're very intelligent. They are, but they don't understand what they're really saying. And the fact that a five-year-old and under even knows what Pound Town is, is disgusting and repulsive. And parents, you should be ashamed of yourselves.
you should be ashamed that you even allow your children to listen to this ghetto nonsense. That's the problem with parents today. We don't know how to parent. We think, okay, we're just going to let our children run wild and free and nothing bad is going to happen. And then they grow up and then they end up in jail. They grow up, they end up, they end up gone because of what they were allowed to do as children. And I'm going to take it a step further. Don't you know that you as a parent can traumatize your child? Don't you understand that trauma happens when you are a child, when you are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? When you are a child, that is when trauma happens. And if you are an adult, you've traumatized your child. You've literally set your child back. So by the time they get out of high school, they're going to therapy because you traumatized them. And then they end up resenting you because of what you did. This is why I say not everybody should become a parent. There needs to be a standardized task given out by the government whenever you want to be a parent. And in order to be a parent and in order to be allowed to have children, you need to score a significant high ratio of points in order to be a parent. This right here proves that not everybody can be a parent. Anybody can have a child. Not everybody can be a parent. And I'm going to leave this. You can check out the original video in the description. It's on TikTok. Follow this TikToker. She's doing a great job in standing for what she believes in. And I stand with her. I stand with this black woman because these children are on a road to disaster and it needs to be stopped and the only people that can stop it is us the parents the grown-ups and like i always say i'm gonna tell you the truth no matter how bad it hurts don't forget to like share and subscribe tickle that notification bell to let you know when i upload content and until next time peace